What is going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today we are introducing and unboxing the all new TM40. TM40, what does that mean? That is standing for Tim Montressor, number 40. Obviously a, a good friend of ours and uh, a very a brainchild of the Iron City Classic bringing back, you know, mechanical 10-man paintball. So this is, uh, you know, in honor of him, Lux comes out with the TM40. So let's take a look. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what's inside. Your standard, you've got your very nice Lux hard case to keep that, you know, expensive $1,500 gun protected. So I love these cases. They do come with a carrying handle. And on the inside, as you can see, gives you a little breakdown of how to program it which is very nice because a lot of you viewers out there, they want to know, okay, so how am I going to program this gun, NXL mode, semi-auto, burst, whatever you guys want to put it. it. gives you a brief breakdown right here on the cover. And as you can see, the Lux TM40 right there. So before we actually show you the gun, let's look what we've got going on over this way. So you do have a Lux barrel cover. It comes there. Looks like you're going to have your um, charging cable included there. We'll throw that off to the side. And then inside the Velcro pouch, they do give you a nice full set of a brand new Allen keys. So anything that you're, any work you're ever gonna need to do to the gun, you're gonna use these bad boys. So, uh, on the other side over here, so Mark can see better, you've got your uh, Lux back, the tip, You've got a full um, rebuild kit with all the O-rings that you may need you know, down the road. Obviously, O-rings don't last forever, so they give you those. And then, of course, they give you the grease, the Lux grease. That boy is in there. So then they give you that. So very, very nice. And uh, the gunning stock 687 is going to be the red insert. Up. Yep. So it comes with the 687 insert, which, you know, a lot of paint is around that size. I'd like to think they do that in honor of us. They're like the red one, it goes with the black gun. Oh yeah, it looks good. It's very, very nice. So uh, we'll throw that bad boy in there. Two hours later. Yeah, we'll finally get it on. Gotta get the insert in there with it. So, you know, it's finally on. We got it together there. All right, let's get to the gun. Let's like a, take a look at this bad boy. There it is, the gun itself. Don't worry, yes, it's coming out. We're gonna talk about it. And then you've got your charging block for the cord I showed you guys earlier. So we'll set that off to the side. So first off, let's pull this bad boy right on out. Oh, well, before I close that and set it off to the side, once again, very, very nice of Lux to do this. Full O-ring, the size is everything you need, how the bolt guide comes apart, the assembly. So I like that. And then even the regulator over here as well. So ASA, pretty much a full breakdown of the O-rings and what's gonna go where. Nice. Yes, yeah, because it's obviously when you're working on your gun, you need to know what to rebuild and what to replace. So first off, TM40 is gonna be up underneath the frame, that Pro-Lock frame. Uh, show that again. Oh. And flip it over because it's upside down like for us. this or this there you go and then tilt 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 down tilt, tilt. very right there perfect oh right there there it is so that's the uh, tribute to uh to tim so the tm40 there um first off i want to say obviously kind of mentioned earlier in the video that you know tim was really the brainchild behind the iron city classic really bringing a resurgent back to the mechanical paintball the 10-man format so uh, the biggest thing about this gun, in my opinion, that I know he would absolutely love is the, you know, the Pro Lock frame, which was on the Lux X as well. But this one, so Mark, there's a latch up there. So the latch, you slide that back and then you come up over here for your bolt assembly, which will, uh, it's going to be a little slick. And Tim worked for Lux too. This wasn't like out of the blue for them to do this. In no, Iowa. no. Was... He was very, very involved with them. No doubt about it. So you got the core there and then back in here, which is important. Um, so I already slid the front latch back from up front and this is how you get the toolless frame actually off of the gun. You're gonna pull this up and push it forward. And then the frame actually will come completely off the gun. So the best part about this is guys, uh, they are currently building and manufacturing a mechanical frame to go on this gun. So obviously with, you know, Tim being involved with bringing back the mechanical stuff, there's gonna be a toolless mechanical frame that literally just slaps right on there. 
And since we're on the inside mark, you can zoom into the solenoid area. This is actually a toolless, you know, a solenoid mount. So you can flip this actual uh, metal lever around here and you can pull the solenoid right on off. So a lot of guns, obviously you're busting out a screwdriver, stuff like that. So completely toolless solenoid removal. I do like that. I'm still stuck on the fact that one day I'll have a mechanical Lux. Correct, right? So obviously with a gun being that expensive, um, you think, well, I want it to, you know, be electronic. Well, hey, you're going to have the best of both worlds on this. And um, speaking of the kind of the mechanical and mechanical electronics, so they kind of <clears throat> dove into the bolt system, making sure that when you do throw a mechanical frame on this gun, that this bolt is going to be compatible with that and not just a, you know, a Ferrari for the speed. So this is uh, this is the new kind of redesigned core. Crack that open real quick. So this core is different than the Lux X core? Correct, yeah. So the Lux X core, I believe the operating pressure was right around 110 to 115 PSI. This one's gonna be closer to around 100. So with the new redesigned actual core, they did, they kind of, they modified some of the parts, so helped better airflow, so you have increased efficiency. They shortened up a, a couple of the parts. I'm not gonna go into you know real detail on that, but a couple of these parts in here are shorter with um, you know different airflow. So you'll notice in this area that you're gonna get increased volume. Uh, it's gonna help, this core is actually designed uh, for brittle paint too. So that's very, very good. A lot of the guys in the tournament world, uh, you know, the paint's, the paint's brittle, it's meant to break uh, and not bounce. So this core is redefined, operating around 100 uh, PSI, and it's good for brittle paint, and it's gonna be very compatible with the mechanical frame if you choose to go that route. And to prove it, we are going to be doing an efficiency test in a future video. Correct. Uh, possibly with one or two gentlemen from uh, a professional team that are coming into town, but you'll we have will. to wait and see. That'll be in a separate video. Um, other than that, the, yeah, the main features is obviously it's going to be the redesigned bolt for your, your better efficiency. Um, and this thing going to be operating with a mechanical frame, which is really, really cool. And then also the actual grips on this, these are water resistant grips, which they redesigned from the Lux X model. So that doesn't mean waterproof, water resistant. You, you happen to dive in a puddle or something. Obviously you don't wanna submerge it, but they've made it so it's not gonna get in the board and mess any of that stuff up. The, if I remember correctly, looking at even just the pictures, the humps in the front grip are a little shorter too. They're not as pronounced. Yes, yes, and speaking of that, like the real just small, small changes they made, even the ergonomics, the way the grip feels, and within the trigger frame too. So they you know, kind of switched a little bit of that up. Because um, at first glance, people would be like, that just looks like a Lux X. Why would I buy another and Lux? And the Lux X was a great model, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, super, super light, can compete on you know any platform, whether you're playing professionally or just you know for fun. Um, so that's... This is the new TM40. I think they did a really good job with it. They, it wasn't, you know, you're not, you're not um, like, wow, that's a completely different gun because it's not, but they've definitely made some nice adjustments and features that you guys are gonna want in the future. Yeah, I think the bolt's awesome. The fact that it'll have a mechanical frame eventually is awesome. And I really like that they did the uh, that uh, TM40 there too. Yeah. Can't so, see it, you're at the wrong angle for me. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So that, and then the fact that this was well over eight weeks hands-on uh, tested by Ryan Moorhead. So if you guys know who that is. Um, so yeah, this thing has been tested. It's been around for a minute with the pros, seeing what they can do with it. Who's Ryan Moorhead? He is a professional player, Mark. Oh, what team? Houston Heat. Okay. I'm just, because so, there's us that don't know who he is. I'm yep. just saying. Well, if you're watching the channel, they probably heard of him before, but that's a TM40. Um, anything else you have for me, Mark? Uh, price was 1500 again, Correct. exactly, not yeah, yeah. 1495 yeah. or uh, 1500. So, do we have some in stock? These pre ordered right now? These are currently pre ordered right now. Um, they are coming in as this video is being shot, and we're getting them out the door to the customers that had obviously pre ordered first, and we go in order from there. 
and there's a ton of colors and combinations available, guys. Go check out the website, lonewolfpaintball.com. That's right. Follow us on all the other good stuff, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all that. Uh, until next time, a quick overview and unboxing of what the TM40 looks like and a couple of the added features. Uh, and if you have any questions or anything you want to know specifically about this marker, put them in the comments below or head over to our Facebook Ask Us Anything group, and we will try to get to you. See you. Take it easy.